I've always dreamt of playing for Chelsea. Nathan is very ambitious. He's a great shot stopper. For someone so young, he's had so many senior games already. I saved a shot. I knew something wasn't right with my shoulder. There would be three to four months. Without games, so wow. That was gutting. I hope at the end, he can recover his position over there. <laughs> You always have that dream, um, and I still have that dream now. When I was an eight-year-old, Czech was the, the goalie, and I was like, that's what I want to do when I'm older, be him. Known Nathan a really long time. He's an incredibly focused, hard-working individual. The spine of my youth team was Flick in the fence, Mace in midfield, and Tanya up front. And now they're like, that's the spine of the team in the Premier League. That's like amazing. So many people in the academy deserve so much credit for that. They own this trophy. It is a hat-trick of Youth Cups for Chelsea Football Club. When you reach the 18, 19 years of age, some people earlier, playing with your age category sometimes becomes too easy. What do you do for the transition between? Obviously, that's the loan. The reason I chose Ross County is you get to play in some big games. I'm a bit of a nightmare when I'm injured because I just want to get back on the pitch. So I'm constantly asking, what treatment can we do? Can I still work on my kicking if my shoulder's sore? You know, can I go do some running, things like that? But no, it was a good, good result, wasn't it? And sometimes you have to, to say to Nathan, calm. Injuries are part of sport, not just football, so that's life. This is my fifth loan now. I think every loan is different and you learn something new every loan. Nathan went out on loan uh, very early on in his career. Often in our academy games, our teams will have a lot more to play and the goalkeepers don't actually get a lot of the ball. Getting Nathan out in a team where he'll get much more goal mouth action um, was part of his development plan. I spoke with Neil and he kind of asked a few teams around conference level and not many teams were kind of biting and they were saying, you know, the lad's 17. You know, I don't want a 17-year-old goalkeeper. I'd won the youth car, playing the under-19 Champions League. I was kind of a wake-up call to me. I, had, I perhaps hadn't realised how hard it was to get that first loan. The only team that really paid an interest was Met Police. I remember going and speaking with him before the game, going to watch his first game at Met Police. He was very nervous at the time. Players with more than double of his age could be their, their <laughs> his father. Met Police was good to tick the box of playing men's football at 17, but Conference was probably the, the start of my proper senior career, if you like. I remember at Solihull, my first five games were brilliant. I think I kept three clean sheets. I was in Team of the Week twice in the paper. I was flying, I was full of confidence. And then I made a few mistakes. And that was a massive learning curve to just make sure I keep approaching every game in the same manner. Was I on it in the 15th game as much as I was in the first? Probably not. And then I think the next year at Woking, I was so consistent. We got into the second round of the FA Cup, away against Peterborough, League One side. I was injured and I was like, I can't play, I can't, can't really kick the ball. The gaffer just said, look, we need you, we need you to play. So they put my ankle in like kind of an air cast type thing, I, you know, injections, tablets, all sort of anything you could possibly do to get on the pitch. And I got on the pitch. You know, and I know that's the sort of thing that you have to do when you're playing in the first team. You know, you have to play with niggles. You, you can't play 45 games a season without dealing with that. Like, that's priceless as a 19 year old to play 45 games. The next loan was Yeovil, League Two. So every loan, the level is better. I basically went as the number two and I just worked my socks off, managed to get in the team and kind of at the start of the season the manager changed the philosophy of the club from basically a long ball team to one that plays out from the back and that was part of the reason why he brought me in because he knew how comfortable I was with the ball at my feet. I remember I was driving back with my dad actually from a game we were listening to talk sport when the Yeovil fan actually called up and said we've changed our whole style of football because we've now got a goalie that can play football from the back and me and my dad were just laughing. 
came with great reputation as a young promising goalkeeper. Well, we were so happy because for, for us to, to see one of our young goalkeepers playing the top level in his country is very interesting. Nathan probably looks at this as a little stepping stone from where he's been as well, you know, it's, it's a higher profile, uh, he's moving up leagues as it, as it were. He's testing himself every week, he's putting himself out there every week, which as I say, a lot of young players don't do that. Going and playing in front of 50,000 at Irock, 60 at Parkhead is obviously something that I'm really excited about. We had a great pre-season, uh, obviously we signed Ross Laidlaw as well, a good competition between the two. We went away to Holland for a pre-season camp. They played a couple of games each over there, it was great. It was our first day back from Holland and we trained in the morning. It was just a Nokia's diving training and he's, he's put his shoulder out. Obviously he goes back to Chelsea, Chelsea have, have looked after him really, really well. And our medical staff try to do everything. Shoulder surgery is a, is a, for a good keeper is, a, is a, he's not very good. Every day you wanted to do a little bit more, pushing himself you know, as hard as possible to get fit and to get back in training as soon as possible. So the mentality was there. If you never had a big injury, you don't really know what to expect. Some of the recoveries are as boring as it can get and you kind of feel in a lonely place. I had myself three shoulder surgeries, so obviously from that experience, when I saw him working in the gym, I always went to ask him how it feels, what he does. I know sometimes when, when people get injured they, they feel a bit isolated from their club because you know, they're not really a part of the Chelsea first team but uh, they're not at their loan club either. Ross County was very, very positive. They called him every week. Although I was back at Cobham I still felt like I was wanted up here which was great. Well obviously he went a pre-season and he's been out injured for some time. He's come back and he's come back 100%, 100%. Playing every week, the feedback that we get is really positive. Now his shoulder is, uh, is more solid than before. Thankfully now we're starting to see the, the, the Nathan Baxter at the football club. I was out for four months of this, plus the two months of the holiday. It was six months since I played, but I've been able to quickly just slip into my normal rhythm because I felt like I've had a lot of games and it just felt normal. I love the guy because it uh, doesn't matter the club where he plays. He tries to do his best. Obviously my dream is to be Chelsea's number one, but I'm well aware that I need to perform here and perform on all my loans, otherwise I'm never going to earn that opportunity because you need to earn it. <laughs>